Hello, today I'm going to show you how to find streaming online videos from OCC's online streaming film collections through the library. We're going to start at the Orange Coast College website. We're going to scroll down to top searches and then we're going to click on library right here. Once here, we're going to click databases A to Z. This is where you can find most of our sources. Um, here, you're going to look for two different databases on this page. Um, they actually are both where it says popular databases over here on the right hand side and that's films on demand and canopy streaming video. So if I want to search films on demand I can click films on demand here. If I'm off campus it will ask me to log in and that is just your standard login that you use for everything you do through OCC. Once you're here, you'll see that it does pull up some sample videos for you, but there are many, many more other than that. And basically what you're going to do is click on the box and search for your topic. So let's say my topic is the Civil War. I can type Civil War in here. And uh, once I click the search button, it's going to find things that are on that topic. Now one thing to explain is that a lot of times what this will show you first are what are called segments. These are portions of a video. If you need to watch the whole video, um, you'll actually want to look at the part that says from title and then has another link here. Um, you may see segments from the same film over and over again, but it's really just one film. So let's say that I want to look at um, this movie, uh, Civil War America, The Story of Us. I can click on that. Um, because I clicked on the title, it's going to show me the full video, which I can see is 44 minutes long. Over here on the side are the segments of the movie. So you can skip around the movie by clicking on um, the different portions so you can choose the one that most interests you and just watch that if you want. There's also a transcript over here and the transcript is basically just the text of the of what is said during the film. Um, this is really great to skip around. As you play it this will auto scroll um, as well so you can um, read um, to get a better idea of what was actually said or if you just want to read instead of watching the video you can do that as well. This also has a citing function, so if you click under Cite the Video, you can click that. It's going to give you MLA to start with. Um, do be warned that this is actually not a proper MLA citation, um, but uh, this is something that you can start with, uh, but it definitely does need some work. Playing it works exactly like YouTube. You hit the play button, um, you can make it full screen, you can do closed captioning, all of that good stuff. If you want to have a URL for this video so that you can go back to it later, you can click share and use the URL that comes up here. There's an embed link here um, or you can send it through email. Um, don't click, don't copy and paste this part because that will not take you back to the film later. One thing to note um, where it says details, sometimes these details are not entirely accurate. The best way whenever you're doing citing for a video is to actually look at the video itself and look at the credits. So sometimes those credits are going to be in the beginning um, and sometimes using the transcript is going to help you figure out where those are. The segments may also figure out where those are. Um, as you can see here there is a segment called wrap up and credits. So if I click that um, it's actually going to take me really close to the credits. So what you'll want to do is watch the credits really closely and look for the director and the producer. So here I can see I have the narrator. So I'm going to keep going. Oh, and there I can see produced and directed by Jenny Ash. And that's the name that I would use in my citation. Um, at the very end of the credits, you should see a production company or a producer. Um, you want to use that rather than what it says on the database entry down below. So that wraps up uh, Films on Demand. It's pretty easy to use. Um, the other one I'm going to show you is um, also on the A to Z database list under Popular Databases and it's Canopy Streaming Video. 
This one is a little bit different. It does require you to create a separate account from your Orange Coast College account. Um, this is because of the way that it tracks uh, usage and the way that we pay for the database. So unfortunately, you do need to create a special login for that. So if you want to do that, then you would just click log, log on to Orange Coast College. And then you're going to create an account. And you can do that either with uh, Google, Facebook, or creating your own. Um, if you already have a login, you can just click the login button and you can type in your login. I'm going to do that right now. Once you've logged in, you'll see this screen. Um, again, they're going to show you some sample videos, um, but you can always search your videos up here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and do Civil War again, and you'll see that it has already suggested some videos, um, but you can also just click View All Results. Um, so here I'm looking, I'm seeing Spanish Civil War because I was very general. Um, here's one um, about a soldier of the American Civil War. So I'm going to click on that. And again, it looks exactly like a YouTube video. You just click play and it will play the, the actual video. You can see a summary. Um, you can click share to get a link that you can um, copy and paste. Again, you're not going to want to use the link up there. If you mouse over where it says more, you can see there's a transcript. And just like um, the other film, the transcript will load and let you skip around. So if I click play here, it's going to start showing you the transcript and you can skip around. Um, just like with films on demand, you're going to want to look at the credits in order to um, determine who actually made this video. Um, you can see some information here, but again, you're always going to want to actually check the credits. Um, under more, you also have your citation tool. And in this case, it defaults to APA. We want to click MLA. Um, this is a little bit closer, but this is still not um, a correct MLA citation. So again, you're going to want to fix that before you put that into your paper. Um, and again, you're going to need to find the director or producer as well as the company that made the video. Um, in this case, I do trust that this is a PBS video. Um, I do believe this it actually is the director of this particular video. Um, so this one, this particular database may be a little bit more accurate when it comes to um, who actually made the video. So essentially, that is how you find online streaming film at OCC. Um, through the library. These are all free to you, so you may view them as long as you are an OCC student and you have logged in. Um, if you have any questions, please ask your librarian.